Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richie Plunkett here from the Puppetum Geek, and today, guys, we're playing Pokemon Go, which is officially launched in Australia. So this is just basically the first instance of the game where you just go through generally what Pokemon Go is, and you know they're just exploring um, the possibilities. Now, this is where you can select your character if you want to be a boy or a girl. Um, from here, I'm going to choose a guy. Uh, there's not many options to customize as of yet. I assume a lot of these things will be implemented later down the track uh, with purchasing new items like hats, backpacks, clothing, and so forth. Um, you know, as you unlock new Pokemon or, you know, defeat gyms and so forth. Other than that, uh, once you, you know, jump straight into that, you're pretty much launched into the open world or where, wherever you are. So whatever location that you're in, as you can see here, it's pretty much a general overlay of, you know, where you are. So straight away, bubble cells appeared um, and you have the option to actually turn on your camera, which gives you the virtual option. I was actually just playing in the living room or in the kitchen. And I was like, why is it white? And I was like, oh, okay. And then I'm like, where is this guy? And then... Wait, wait, oh, Bubbles, will get off the freaking table. <laughs> uh, you basically fling uh, the Pokeball, which will go and capture your Pokemon. And depending on how hard your Pokemon is, you know, will actually stay in the actual Pokeball itself. So from there, it actually gives you some XP with that. And also, you know, puts you into the Pokedex as well. So there's over 250, or there's 250 Pokemon, so the initial Pokemon. I'm not too sure if they'll expand that later on, but it'll be interesting to see. Okay, so taking a closer look within some of the menus within Pokemon Go, if you hit your Pokeball right here, it'll open up a menu to your Pokedex, items, Pokemon, and shop. So if you go into the shopping cart, which is the center menu, you have the options to buy Pokeballs. Now you can have up to 20, 100, 200, and also other things as well. So you've got eggs, modules, backpack upgrades, and furthermore, like coins. So obviously this is going to be part of the currency as well. So as you can see here, I have no money, and hopefully within the game I can somehow obtain money freely without having to actually buy coins. So $14 will get you 1,200 coins, and the lowest being just $1.50 at 100 coins. Hopefully this is in, is in Australian dollars or to whatever region you're in, it's going to be to that price in itself. But with that, this will allow you to buy furthermore, um, you know, Pokeballs, which is going to be the main thing. So save those Pokeballs and don't just go fleeing them around. Um, so like that, we can close that up. Uh, we have our Pokemon as well. So some of the Pokemon that we've caught along the way so far. So we've got you know, I've got four Pokemon, not too bad, uh, of 250 Pokemon, uh, which you would have to be going and searching around the world uh, to catch those. So that's going to be really fun, I think. As well, within that, you've got your Pokedex uh, in here, which you can actually hit your Pokemon as being Bulbasaur, the first Pokemon uh, here in the Pokedex, and you know, it shows the evolution and a bit more information about the Pokemon itself, which is also really handy. So furthermore, we've got items. So like here, we've got incense, which is uh, a fragrance to lure Pokemon uh, to your location within 30 minutes. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I can see a lot of people using that as well. However, you know, it's really great to go and explore the world uh, to find Pokemon, but it's also handy to sort of use that and maybe help certain Pokemon in certain areas appear. We've got Pokeballs, which we can buy. We've got a camera, which is pretty cool as well. We can take pictures of Pokemon if you don't want to capture them, or you've already maybe captured them, or maybe they're in a certain cool location or something, and an egg incubator uh, for those eggs that we can actually get and hatch. What's also really handy with the app itself, it tells you what Pokemon are nearby in your location. So, so far in my nearest area, I've got these Pokemon here, which I've already obtained. So, I mean, if I want, I can still capture another one. I believe so, I'm not too sure, but it says I've already captured them and I don't really need to. So I can actually go to different areas and different sort of nearby Pokemon will appear. Uh, at the moment, there is a gym here as well, which you can see. However, I do need to actually uh, be at level 5 to start training my Pokemon. So I'm going to be, you know, going, capturing some more Pokemons, maybe going to some of the more items. Furthermore, down there, as you can see, that's pretty far. Let's see if I can click that. Where is this? Uh, the Nidri Library. Okay, cool. So that's not too far. I know where that is. Um, 
So I could probably even go walk there maybe later on and see what Pokemon or what items I actually get going to that point. Okay, so we're here at the St. John's Bosco's Church, uh, which you can see now that I'm on the actual app right next to it. So I'm gonna click it right here. We can swipe. Cool, so I've got two po oh, three Pokeballs. Awesome! That was pretty cool. Gained 50 XP for that. Is there anything around us though? So I've turned off my face cam for this moment to show you this wild Pokemon that I come across. Um, and as you can see here, it's in the real world uh, where I'm standing. However, I can change the mode, uh, which then puts it into you know the Pokemon world. Uh, so you can switch between those two worlds if you want um, to be a bit more immersive, I guess. So let's see if we can catch this guy. There you go, pretty straightforward. Gotcha. So at the moment I'm sort of like just catching all these Pokemon, however, um, ideally I would like to have, you know, maybe three or four really good Pokemon that I want, rather than just wasting my Pokeballs, because later down the track that, that is going to be a bit more of an expensive thing to do, where you do have to go and collect items to buy Pokemon Balls and uh, I guess other Pokemon Balls as well to catch harder uh, Pokemons. Okay guys, that's it for um, maybe this first video of many Pokemon Go videos. A uh, little bit of exploring. I thought it was pretty cool. It's sort of like geocaching, but with Pokemon. Uh, if you did like this video, leave a comment down below what you want to see more of. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.